Hey everyone, um, welcome to the part two of the um, tutorial on MakeCode Arcade JavaScript. So in the part one, we were able to create this game where we were able to, you know, move our um, spaceship like that and we were able to fire some bullets with our spaceship. So, um, but we don't have anything else than this. So in this video, we'll be learning to add lots and lots of features using JavaScript. So first of all, what we want to do here is we want rocks. Um, so it's space. So we want lots of space rocks uh, to fall down. So to do in order to do that. So let's uh, first give a comment to this code. Like uh, what does this do is this fires bullets from our spaceship. So what we want to do here was, uh, is we want to declare rocks just like we declared bullet. So let's uh, write let rocks colon sprite equals to null. So we've created um, like we've declared an object called rock of type sprite and set the value to null. So what we want to do next is we want to create an, another event block. So this will be um, like this will be running every 500 um, milliseconds of our game. So let's write game dot on update interval. So we have this sort of syntax already written for us. So we want to do 500 here. So what this does is every 500 milliseconds, uh, this function will run. So what will be in our function? Uh, in our function, what we want to do is we want to like um, declare rocks, just like we declared bullet here. We want to declare rocks to be sprites dot create projectile from side, and we want to use backticks so that we get this sort of um, prompt where you, we can you know choose our rocks. So let's quickly choose our rock. Um, I think this one looks good enough. So let's click on done. And as and as we do that, we've uh, created our rocks. And we want to add in some velocity here. Uh, so what we want to do is we want to add in. Uh, we don't want any sort of x velocity yet we want to have some y velocity with let's put positive 70 here so that rocks will spawn and they will fall down let's see what happens so yeah as we can see um, this thing happened with bullets as well and with rocks it's also falling um, in in from the in a particular column so let's try to create some changes here let's do rocks dot set position and what we want to do is we want to like we want rocks to fall from anywhere in random from here so we uh, want to call our so what we basically do in JavaScript when we want to have random numbers is we use math and we uh, simply do, do math dot random range and so in this what we have is we give in two numbers and a random number will be selected within those. So let's write 0 and 160. Why am I writing 0 and 160? It's because um, it's 160 pixels wide. All right. So uh, we've done that. And let's, uh, like, let's let our y coordinate be uh, 0 because we want it to be on top. So let's see. Yeah, as you can see, we have random uh, like rocks falling from from the top. So this this looks pretty cool. Um, what we want to do next is we actually want to set uh, rocks to be our enemies. So we don't want our rocks to be our friends. You know, we want them to be our enemies. So uh, we want to go rocks and we want to do set kind and we want to choose sprite kind dot enemy uh, as you might have seen here we have enemy food player projectile so these are um, basically um, predefined uh, sprite kinds 
uh, in MakeCode, we can always define some kind of our own. So why do we use these kinds? Uh, it's because we can write different functions um, and we can actually uh, write, uh, use these event blocks. So when two, uh, two sprites of different kinds overlap and we can, you know, um, we can have something done whenever that happens. So let's set this to enemy. Um, you might want to notice if you select sprite kind here we have already uh, created our spaceship to be of sprite kind player and we have set uh, set this uh, set rocks to be of sprite kind enemy what we want to do is we also want to give our bullet a sprite kind um, oh, set kind to be sprite kind dot projectile so what is a projectile it's some something you throw so we are go going to throw bullets right um yeah so we've created a bullet um, to be of um like sprite kind of projectile and we have our player uh spaceship to be of spi a sprite kind player and we have our um rocks to be of sprite kind enemy so um till now we have everything set we can fire our uh, like bullets but these bullets are doing nothing to the rocks so what we want to do is and also whenever we are interacting with uh, whenever our spaceship is touching these rocks uh, we have nothing in place so we want to do uh, add lots and lots of changes here so first of all what I want to do is I want I actually want to add some like scoring mechanism and some life mechanism so what i want to do is i simply want to type in info dot um set life and i want it to be five so i want our game to have five lives and i also want to call info dot set score to be zero in the beginning so uh, once we do that uh, you can see on the top left we have our life and on the top right we have our score so uh, once that is done uh, what we want to do is we want to create some event blocks right so once again during create uh, while creating the event blocks we want to go to the top this is not necessary but this is something uh, like kind of a convention when it comes to uh, make it so let's simply write sprites dot on overlap so this is an event block so whenever you write sprites dot on overlap let's do that once again you simply get this suggestion so you write sprites dot on overlap and if you go there um, select that option and click enter you have all of these preloaded and the thing is we don't want this like to define specifically that it's a sprite uh, because we want to define it here itself so let's first write sprite kind dot player and let's write sprite kind dot enemy <clears throat> so what this what does this line of code mean what it means is whenever a sprite kind of player whenever a sprite of like kind player which is our spaceship um, like overlaps or collides with our sprite of kind enemy this function is going to run and this function is taking into arguments sprite and other sprite so in this case sprite is going to be our player and other sprite is going to be our enemy we can also like replace these with a and b or any name of our choice but um, I don't recommend to do so because like whenever you like follow these sort of conventions it makes it easier for everyone else to read your code so what we want to do here is we want to whenever our player and enemy uh, collide with themselves I want to decrease uh, our life so I want to change life by minus one. So this comes by default. Uh, so whenever our uh, player overlaps with enemy, 
our life is getting reduced by one. So let's see. Yeah, I think that sound might be annoying. Let's turn it off. Yeah, so as you can see, our um, like it worked, but did not work the way we want. Uh, we don't want our like rocks to stay um, because they will simply decrease more life. We want the rocks to be destroyed as well. So what we want to do is uh, since our enemies are rocks here, yeah, sprite kind of enemy is uh, are our rocks. What we want to do is we want to uh, like use uh, take this other sprite, which is our enemy sprite, and uh, right right in other sprite dot destroy. So what destroy method does is it simply destroys anything you sort of overlap. So yeah. Our life is uh, getting decreased, but uh, like uh, these rocks are also getting destroyed at the same place. I actually want to add some cool effects uh, on our like whenever this uh, these rocks are getting destroyed. So let's simply type in effects dot. I want to add this integrate here, and I want it to last for hundred milliseconds. So this is the syntax you have. Um, like uh, you have the effect and you have the duration of the effect you can simply hover over it and you can see what um, each each uh, word on our code means so let's try it once again yeah so we have this sort of disintegrating effect whenever we kind of touch the rocks so this this looks pretty cool what else do we want is we want to have a sort of music to be played um, in this case let's play power down and like we've selected power down and in order to play it we have to call the play method let's play the game once again all right so yeah our sound is also play so you might get the idea of how things are uh, working here so you know we have, we have created this entire on overlap like uh, event block where everything uh, like we are changing our decreasing our life by one where you know um, destroying our other sprite which is our rock and we're like uh, using this music uh, of uh, power down called power down so what we what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna copy that code and I'm gonna paste it right here so what I want is like we've already created um, a condition where our player and our enemies overlap so we've but we what we have not done is uh, we have not have we don't have a condition where our projectile overlaps with the enemy right so what was our projectile once again let's see quickly um, our projectile was our bullets it was right here so we've created this to be of sprite kind projectile so whenever our bullets uh, like whenever our bullets overlap with the rocks uh, which are the enemy we want something to happen we don't want uh, like it to change the life by minus one what we want is we want to change the score by one so we want to add the score whenever our bullets hit the rocks right and um, yeah we're, we're going to destroy the blocks here as well but let's try to use another effect uh, for this case let's use fire and we so the other sprite which is uh, gonna be the uh, rock where which will uh, you know which will come in contact with our bullet is going to be destroyed with this um with this effect of fire and we don't want to play the music of power down we have a very good music called batting yeah i i hope i spelled that correctly so this music will be played um like whenever i try to do something with it and let's see uh what what our game looks like now yeah uh our yeah our uh, we we are able to destroy these rocks with our bullets but the thing is 
um, as you can see our bullets are not being destroyed as we destroy these rocks we don't want that to happen we want both of these things to be destroyed so um, here other sprite was our rock and sprite was our projectile which is basically our bullet so we want to do is we want to do sprite dot destroy we want to call the destroy method for this sprite which is being passed uh, which uh, this projectile which is being passed as a sprite here so once we do that we our like bullets will also be destroyed yeah only one bullet for one run um, so we have this sort of playable game here which kind of looks amazing um, so what we want to add is we want to have some sort of um, you know randomness in the speed of our uh, of the rocks so it's it's quite easy to do like uh, we let's go to rocks and here's the velocity y velocity which is basically the speed of our rocks falling let's to add something random we simply type in random math dot random range and let's have it to be somewhere between 60 and 80 so this way we can have some sort of randomness uh, in our rocks and they, they don't fall with the same speed yeah so as you can see they don't fall with the same speed and if if you kind of want to add uh, you know like some sort of randomness in their uh, horizontal mo movement as well you could do that uh, like we can simply replace our zero with a math dot random range and we want to have uh, diagonal mo movements on both the sides we can well two a bit we don't want lots of diagonal movements we simply want some level of diagonal movements so we simply can add um, we we want to have minus 20 to 20 so if we do that we have some sort of diagonal mo movements as well so this this actually looks quite a lot like a space journey now right okay and and it it ex increases uh, the um, you know difficulty to some extent as well so we have uh, like a high uh, level of randomness in our game so yeah I think that's pretty much it let me write the comments so that you can like get to know so uh, what happens here every 500 milliseconds um, rocks are spawned so this this entire um, block um, of code it spawns rocks every 500 milliseconds and what this block does is like um, so what this block does is you know um decreases life when player and enemy collide and like it also like uh, you know destroys um the enemy but um the more important thing is it decreases life and this one changes uh adds score whenever bullet hits bullet is essentially our projectile here projectile hits the so adds a uh, score whenever our bullet or projectile hits the enemy which is rock yeah so i think that's pretty much it about um, um on the part two of this uh tutorial um, so we we are finally able to have this sort of uh, you know interactive game and like it's 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 quite fun to play this game so yeah I hope you enjoyed and uh, were able to learn a lot um, so the thing you can do right now is you can simply try all of these on your own and you can uh, always share whatever you do um, like 
it's it's very easy to share you can simply go to share and you you want to name your game and you want to record it so you want to record a gif and you want to like you can always take a screenshot or record a gif and you can publish the project and once you do that you have uh, you can also share it on your social media handles or simply copy the code or use the QR code to you know share uh, your projects to your friends or everyone who might want to know about it so if you want to learn more about JavaScript um, and make code uh, you can simply go to makecode.com uh, and uh, you you can like follow uh, the curriculum you can follow their tutorials or like there are lots of resources or you could simply follow my channel as well uh, I am planning uh, to create uh, lots of make good tutorials so yeah this this is pretty much it thanks for watching